Hello and welcome to my channel. Some people have asked me how I managed to look at the output from the infrared camera part of a Logitech Brio webcam. Here's the webcam. <coughs> and on here, oh, it's a bit dark, you can't really see, but on the front there are a number of apertures for the camera and microphones, but also an infrared camera and an infrared LED to provide illumination. Um, and the reason for this is for face recognition for um, <coughs> Windows, I think it's called Windows Hello, face recognition to unlock a device without putting in a password. Um, to be able to see it, we're going to have to say Windows goodbye because I don't know of any program that allows you to view that output. We're going to have to use Linux instead. And um, for Linux, I tend to install it on separate machines like old ThinkPads that you can get very cheaply secondhand. I've got a library of ThinkPads for testing out different operating systems and doing different experiments. And um, so what I'm going to do is switch to Ubuntu. It's version 22 because it's uh, well supported and it works and um, show you what you need to do. So what I will do is I'll switch to the uh, ThinkPad that's got Ubuntu running on it. There it is. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see that. And um, what I'm going to do is to install some software. There are several different programs you can use which can access the uh, infrared channel on a webcam. And um, let me think. Uh, you don't have to uh, search in the search window when you want to search for software. We're using the package manager. You just type in what you want. So if we look for OBS, for example, the uh, Broadcast Studio software, hopefully it will know about it. And uh, be able to um, install it, which I'm not going to use actually. Oh, there it is. This is OBS, the uh, Open Studio software, which I'm using to record this video, in fact. But what I'll do is instead, I will use uh, GUVC Viewer, which is a much smaller program, quicker to install. Here we are, <clears throat> GUVC View. So I'm going to install this, and I'm doing this all from the command line instead of, um, no, not the command line from the package manager for people who don't like using command lines. So um, all you have to do is hit the button that says install and put in the password and wait for it to install. install. Yes, it's going. So it's installing on a small old laptop, which has got the, uh, let's have a look if it's already got the webcam plugged in. Um, if I type LS USB to list USB devices, you can see here it is Logitech Inc. Brio Ultra HD webcam is, is found on the USB bus. So it's plugged in. So um, let's just minimize that and wait for this <coughs> program to install. GUVC, okay, it's done it. So um, easy way to find it is just to click on here. There it is. So let's run GUVC viewer. Looks like you're still seeing this. And there it's already automatically connected to the internal webcam built into the laptop at the top of the screen, which doesn't have an infrared channel um, because it's an older laptop. So what I'm going to do is switch to the external webcam that plugged in the Logitech Brio. So you have to click on video controls and that's interesting. It thinks it's already found it. Oh, it has already found it. <laughs> okay. This is the Brio webcam normal channel. Um, the integrated camera on the laptop. Let's open it in a new window. I've just selected is that one. Okay, using the finger test, that's the uh, built in ThinkPad camera, which we're not using. So let's just uh, close that again. <clears throat> and what I have to do on here, you have to select the third one down. For some reason, it lists this four times because there are two different cameras in a Brio. If you list the or click on the third one down, open that in a new window. Hopefully, this is looking good. There it is. So that is the infrared channel. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. It's not very big. It's, I think, 200 and something pixels. Not that big, but as you can see, it works. And that's infrared. If I put my hand up, you see it's very bright because it's reflecting back the infrared LED into the camera, which is overloaded. So that's used for face recognition. Um, what's this? And we won't look at that. Maybe if I go back to the other webcam that I'm making this video on, that one, and we have a look at the laptop itself. 
maybe, yeah, there it is. You can see the infrared LED for illuminating the face with the facial recognition because this, this is a, I'm using a stream cam to make this video from Logitech and it can see the infrared so you can see it's working. In fact, visibly I can see a little dim red flashing like that too. So you know it's, it's on. So that's the infrared channel on the Logitech Brio. Maybe the audio went a bit quiet there. I forgot I'm using the microphone on this webcam. Let's put it back. So um, what I'll do is I'll <clears throat> try it again using a different software in another video. And I'll do it on Linux Mint because uh, some people like to use that. It's certainly easy to set up. And um, maybe I'll try the internal cameras on the newer Lenovo laptops that have got an infrared camera built in at the top of the screen. So um, you can also access those if you run Linux on them. Okay, so that's it for now. Please uh, make some comments. Let me know why you want to know this, <laughs> what you're going to use it for, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.